Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. As you can see by the title, we're going to be learning how to save players' weapons through Sequelite. Now, Sequelite's built into SAMP, so we won't need an include, but basically the first thing we need to do is um, define a location for the for the database. So we'll go define server uh, database, and we'll just call it uh, weapons.db. Now you can create a folder uh, within your script. It's going to be located in your script files folder. And you can create a, another folder within it, like my folder, like that. And then uh, within script files and have the, the database within a folder like that. But we're just going to have it in script files. Now basically, the next thing we need to do is create some new DB commands. So new DB, we'll call it server database. And then new DB result database result all right so now we've done that what we need to do is we need to first open the database so we'll go here i'll open up one of my scripts just quickly open that open that open that and we'll go to um on game uh all right so first thing we need to do is open the database like this And then we need um, to create the table if it does not exist. And this is the one we need. I'll explain this once I get it over there. All right, so now we're creating a table that doesn't exist. So what, what we're going to save is their melee weapon, their handgun, their handgun ammo, their shotgun, their shotgun ammo, sub, assault, and rifle. So basically there's five different... Um, different types of weapons you can have a, a well, melee a handgun shotgun submachine gun assault and a rifle so um and of course we save the ammo along with it so now we've um what we need to do quickly is close the database always remember to close the database under on game mode exit but in this case it's going to be under on filter script exit all right so now we've um created the the table if it does not exist what we need to do is when the players connect, we need to check if the, they exist um, within the database. If they don't, um, we in, that's where we insert the data. So what we'll do is we'll go to a select query. Um, all right, this is what we need, one of these. All right, so under on play connect, we go like this. Now we only need the query. Um, we'll make that a bit shorter. Um, select all from weapons where name equals that. So instead of, uh, like in previous tutorials, I've been using DB escape, but instead of that, we're going to use, um, to escape, to escape strings. What you're doing is instead of doing a string, you just do Q. So it escapes the string. So, um, now we select all from weapons where name equals get name. We need to quickly add that. So we'll quickly go to that. Uh, this just gets the name to make it easier. All right. So now we need to check if the if they don't exist within the database. So there is no number of rows. Uh, they don't exist. And this is where we insert insert the data so now let's get some insert query um insert um, let me quickly find find the one we need counts insert into weapons there we go that's the one we need So, make sure we free the result here, just in case there is a number of rows, we free the result. So, um, now we just insert, we insert their name. Um, we're going to make this, uh, we're going to escape that string. So what we do is we insert we insert their query. So melee, handgun, handgun ammo, shotgun, shotgun ammo, sub, sub ammo, assault, assault ammo, rifle and rifle ammo. And then we just set all those values to zero. 
and that's the insert um, the insert value so now what we need to do is we need to give them the weapons under their first spawn so we'll come up to here and we'll go new bull um, first spawn max players all right so now we need to go like this then under on play connect before we do the check we can go player id first spawn equals true and then just so we can stop that if the um this is the check that we're going to do to to know if we have to give them weapons or not and we'll just go here um we'll set this to false under here so then it stops them from executing the first bit of um, code under here so now we'll go to on player spawn let's give ourselves a bit more room we'll go to on player spawn we'll go to if first spawn equals true uh, like that if first spawn equals true then this is where we um, load weapons Alright, so now now th this is where we actually load the weapons and give it give it to them. And and what we do is we save their weapons under on player disconnect. So let's go to load weapons. I think I've got a I've already got yeah, I've already got a function for this, so let's grab that quickly. So we'll go to load weapons. Um Alright. This is uh we'll leave it like that. Um what I need to change, I need to remove this. So everything else is what what we need. I'll explain it all in a sec. Um, I'll quickly change these because that I'm using EX as I'm creating my own function because I don't want animation when they get given a gun. But we're not going to do that here. So this is what's happening. So when we load the guns, we select all from the weapons and then we load their melee, we give it to them. Then we load their handgun, we save it to a variable and then we load their ammo, we save that to a variable and then we give them the handgun and the ammo. And then we do the same thing for the shotgun, the submachine gun, assault and the rifle. All right, so now, now we're loading, now we're loading the weapons. Wait, let's grab that function. Now, oh, let's grab that and Go here now, and oh wait, no, not there. Oh, that's not what I want to do. We don't want to go there. We want to load their weapons here. So the, for their first spawn, we'll load their weapons, and then we'll set their first spawn to false, just so it only happens for their first spawn. All right. So now we're loading their weapons. What we need to do here is we need to um, save weapons. Create a function that saves the weapons. Um, player ID. All right, so now we'll go to here. I'll just quickly go to um, we need this bit of code right here. All right, so what we do here, and um, we'll make a new make a new function. Um, Sorry about that banging guys, it looks like they're doing a bit of work um, next door. Alright, so we'll get their data and then we update it in the, in the query. I mean update it in the database um, with the update query. So we'll do that, we'll return that. And now let's quickly go up to here and grab these. This is what we need here. Oh, and we need also a large query because that's a pretty large query. So we'll go new query 400 and then our weapon data all right so this is what we do we we, we go through, we go through their weapon data and for their first slot is their melee their second slot is their handgun third slot shotgun and so on so there's five different slots for the for each gun and one slot for the melee so what we do is we get their weapon data when we save 
um, this is the ammo and the, and oh, well, this is the gun data and that's the ammo. So the weapon data and the ammo. And then what we do is we just save their weapon data and the ammo for each one like this. And this should have a um, should remove date DB escape as well from here and make that Q. Let's just double check that's what we do. We need to remove DB escape from here as well. Make that Q. All right, so that that's Q. That's Q. This one. There's Q as well, and down here is Q as well. So let me just double check there's no DB escape. All right, there we are, guys. That's how simple it is to save weapons. Basically, what you do is create the database. When they connect, you check if they, they're not, a, not in the database yet, and then you insert the data. And then under their first spawn, you load any weapons that they got, and when they disconnect, you, you save the weapons. So that should compile. What's going on here? Uh, 101 and 108. One, all right. Uh, gotta go like that. All right. That should compile now, guys. So that, that's how simple it is to save weapons, guys. Um, yeah. Um, let me know if you enjoyed the tutorial, and um, if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments. And um. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, I'll be putting this um, up on GitHub so you can download it and um, you should be able to just download it as a filter script and it will work straight away and start saving the player's weapons. But anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one guys. Peace!